Here is a very simple but effective Bitcoin technical analysis for you. I'll be covering trades, profits, and what's to come next. I hope that you really enjoy this one. Please listen carefully as, as always, the information that I will be sharing with you today is not only important, but can absolutely help you massively improve as a trader and get down that path of consistent profitability. So that's my target. That's the goal. Let's get into the analysis. And I want to pick up right where I left off my video yesterday, which played out, I have to say, very perfectly. Uh, the main focus of yesterday's video was explaining I was very confident. If you haven't watched it already, go and watch it. Uh, but I was very confident that lower prices will be coming next on Bitcoin. For me, it was only a matter of time. Why? We were building up some very bearish order flow. Once again, we were looking for that another long squeeze and new lows made to take out all those massive amount of longs that we're building up. Okay, just crazy. Look at that, 46 million, 11 million. It was just a matter of time. And that's why I said with so much confidence, you know, wait for lower, do not long yet. And that patience paid off greatly as we did do exactly what we were waiting for. And that was take out the lows down to around 57,000, come back above for the swing fairy pattern failed auction. And that gave us the long trade entry. So I am in a long trade right now, uh, still in that trade today. And so I want to explain a few key points that really can help you to match the same trades that I'm taking. First of all, it was that importance of patience, right? Once we have understood the highest probability is lower, you then have to be very patient waiting for that target level and not longing prematurely. So you can see here over the past few days prior to actually getting the long trade entry yesterday, you can see here recognizing, okay, we're bouncing off value area low. We've just seen the failed auction of the high. <laughs> Saw the failed auction of the high. Well, what are we waiting for next? We're going to be waiting for the lower daily. Very simple stuff. You can see the plan laid out days in advance to the champions members. We fail auction the high. Okay, bouncing off value area low. But for me, that's not a long because I am personally waiting for that lower daily. The plan is very clear, right? And I'm not taking any long trade until we hit that. And it would be a simple case. If I am incorrect and we do not hit the daily, we bounce from there. I make a mistake and I miss the trade setup. But of course, we didn't. We uh, read the order flow correctly. We saw the bearish signs. We waited patiently and we hit the daily. And this is the most important thing when it comes to then getting that trade set up. You plan the trades and then what you do, you trade the plan with full confidence once again. You can see that trade setup actually came in here with a wick to the downside, something very important here. Wick to the downside. I'm getting very aggressive on this trade entry. I understand the margins are small. We're after not a massive amount of percentage move so you do have to be very you know quick with your trade entries to get that really good small risk with larger reward from the sculpt perspective again this was a lower term time frame trade so we want to have that quick aggressive trade entry and you can see here at uh 17 minutes past three uk time is when we actually formed this swing failure pattern of the daily level okay at 17 minutes past three and at 17 minutes past three to the exact same minute i was telling the champion members that that for me is now the long trade you can see there's no hindsight there's no delays live in the time update as soon as i'm taking that trade i'm telling all of the champion members that i have taken that trade so that is the, of course, a massive advantage of being a champion member that you can see these types of insights, you know, before everybody else. And naturally, with that amazing entry right at the low of that swing failure pattern, we managed to lock in a lovely take profit one at the VWAP. And I see a lot of people making some very nice profits after that swing failure pattern building its way up. And you can see here entry trigger. This is a few champion members taking their entries down and around there and uh, swing failure pattern, 30 minute candle, previous low on the daily, good reaction. And this guy just made a take profit to Gracias Amigo. So you can see the importance there of really simply, I emphasize one final time, plan the trade trade the plan. If you add in a few more steps to that, it would be remain patient for those high probability levels. 
So after failed auction of the high, we are remaining patient for the level. It's then monitor the order flow as you're remaining patient to make sure, okay? Because again, I could have been wrong and we bounced from here. But by monitoring the order flow, I am planning that trade, but then I am continuously monitoring to make sure that plan is still the correct plan to be trading. And then when it comes to actually the execution, it's wait for that reaction, understand it's a good reaction, take the trade, update the members, we all sit happily in profits today. As we came back down for a retest, but SFP trades, even after the first take profit, we still have our stop loss below the low. It is a win-win trade in that regards now, because for me, even if we are to dump down from here, so let's just say uh, randomly, as soon as this video ends, we just see a massive crash to the downside. That long trade has already secured enough profits, you know, hitting take profit one, two, so if we do get a move down, you know, profit is 100% guaranteed in that regard. So like I say here, it's a win-win, whatever happens next. And so, you know, that's, that's something that's very important to note. So I hope I really did help a lot of people sharing that trade setup. Again, that was even posted on YouTube in advance, right? That was uh, out published before the move happened. So, you know, I know a lot of people managed to catch on on that move. So it was lovely to see. And now I want to explain what I'm looking at next. So this daily level for me is now tapped. We can remove that. We, of course, still have locally the more, we could say now larger range. The range is getting a little bit large. But we know, naturally, we still have this and the middle of that channel actually coming in at uh, 59,000, uh, say $59,100. So got a little bit of a minor, we could say resistance coming in at around 59K with the point of control above that with a little bit more of an impact coming in at around $59,200. I personally have still got my alert set here at $60,000. That's, a, for me, a major level of interest. And, uh, you know, the, the perspective of me as a trader is we have just seen a wonderful reaction, um, you know, ending in a long trade. But this long trade is already locked in a few take profits. And we can now be looking for, of course, today is a U.S. holiday. So I would be very much aware of today. Yeah, it was a low volume day to be expected. Tomorrow, as we get into London session, New York session, is when we will see our next increase in volatility. And that's where we're going to be having to monitor once again the order flow. And with that, we will be able to see with you know a high probability whether we are actually likely to see continuations through the point of control towards 60, $61,000, or actually if, the, if we are opening the sessions more bearishly, we will be looking towards new lows, in my opinion, down towards fifty-four dollars to $55,000. That's the bigger CC of the uh, local move that we're seeing. So I personally, as a trader now that's already taken the long trade here and you know is secure to take profit one, I'm actually very happy to see this move up towards and above 60,000 or drop down towards 54, 55,000. Okay. As a trader, I know I can make profits if we continue to rise. And I know I can secure profits on a new trade setup if we do get a drop. So that's the, you know, big advantage of being, you know, be like water, just adapt to the market. If you get drops to support, you look for longs. If you get rises to resistance, you look for shorts. So once again, I myself, I've secured my profits off of this trade setup. I hope you have too. Now we have to remain patient for the sessions to open tomorrow. With those sessions opening tomorrow, we have to monitor the order flow to see whether it's the highest probability of continuation towards 60K or actually if things are opening more bearishly and we will be expecting prices to head down towards fifty-four dollars to $55,000 towards the overall CC Fibonacci level. If you would like some assistance, as always, we offer a wonderful community where we will teach you how to trade via a massive educational platform that we have over at chartchampions.com. You got the trade updates of how it's going along. You have live streams throughout the day. You have live trading streams. Uh, we had a really interesting AMA as well Makes today sense. where I had you know, some really, really good, interesting questions. And of course, I'm going in here and answering all these questions. So if you want to know, uh, you know, if you're taking profit profits too quickly, if you are un not understanding, you know, certain topics, if you want to know more about order flow, you know, I'm going in here, I'm taking the questions, I'm answering them and, you know, giving you all of the information that you would, would like about that, right? So, um, yeah, if you want to see more from myself and the other coaches, live trading, daily updates, live streams galore, um, 
yeah, chartchampions.com. If you want to wait for the next YouTube video, stick around here. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button. It would really be appreciated. And yeah, if you want to be even nicer, leave a comment down below of how epic that trade setup played out and the importance, right, of taking profits. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Now remaining patient for the opens tomorrow and our next increase in volatility. Happy to see it rise or fall. We are traders and we trade the charts. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day ahead and I'll see you over in the Discord if you would like to join the membership. Cheers everybody. Thank you and goodbye.